So here's a legend in American trucking, the Ford Ranger. But uh, we're not here to cover that. Today we're here to cover a problem that's common with a lot of trucks, which is that there's no real way to tell that the tailgate is open uh, once you're actually inside the truck. Uh, because you can see the light, the door open light, goes away once I close this door right here. And uh, if you're in a rush or you know if you're on the freeway and something happens and that back tailgate comes open uh, there's real no there's no real good way of knowing um, and this is actually has happened to me while I was carrying a washer one day so I'm uh, lucky I was able to catch it in time but uh, in this uh, video I'm going to show you a way to set up um, a system that can uh, turn on that same dashboard light when the tailgate is open. So if you like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more DIY and tinkering videos. All right, so there's really only a few things we need for this modification. And the most important of that is what's called a magnetic reed switch. This is essentially a switch that allows us to control a circuit based on the presence and absence of magnet. So this is what we'll be putting on the tailgate of the car. Uh, I think I picked this up for like eight bucks on Amazon Prime and there's two switches in here. So four dollars a piece. Not too bad um, We'll need some wire because we're, we're gonna be running wire from the back of the truck to the front and some protective wire wrap Just to protect it from the elements So before we get this part installed, let's take a look at how the current um, Door open alarm is working in the car so we can get a better understanding of how installing the switch is going to allow us to have that light come on when the tailgate is open. All right, to get a better understanding of uh, how this uh, door open alarm or door open light works regularly, I went ahead and uh, unhooked it from the switch and uh, so basically when the door is open this uh, circuit grounds out the 12 volt signal and the body control module or I think in this car it's called the GEM when it sees that when, when that signal goes to ground it, it goes ahead and turns on that door o open light so basically by unhooking it here the light should not turn on despite being despite the door being open and uh, we can see that by turning on the car and you see that the light the door open light is not on but uh, when we go ahead and uh, ground um, complete the circuit again by shorting the circuit I'm trying to do this two-handed let me try to put it back on uh, so uh, when we try to when we short the circuit here by connecting the two lights, that should turn. That should once again send a signal back down to ground, and it should turn our door open light back on. And as you can see. Is back on so basically all we're going to be doing is putting that magnetic reed switch in series with this switch right here it doesn't matter whether it's passenger side or driver side but I'm going to choose the passenger side just because there's less things in the way but that's, that's all we're going to be doing so once this switch is sending the signal to ground the light turns on and then if we go ahead and pull that, i.e. the door is now closed, the, the light will turn off. So by putting it into series with this switch, we should be able to have a light way of monitoring both the doors and the tailgate through that same center console there. All right, let's do this. All right, to uh, mount the switches, I'm just going to be using uh, epoxy. Um, I think that'll hold. 
So uh, we'll do that right now. All right, so I used uh, epoxy to get the switch and the magnet both mounted. I don't necessarily like epoxy because it kind of makes them a mess, but I didn't want to use any sort of fastener in this case because I didn't want to drill into the, my truck. So that's the switch side, and the magnet is uh, mounted to under there right there. As you can see, it kind of went overboard with the epoxy a little bit, but it should be okay. All right, so I've got most of the wiring routed. So as far as the wiring for the reed switch is concerned, it's connected to the common and the normally open contacts of the switch. From there, I've got it running through this uh, protective loom uh, through the back uh, tail light here. And it goes underneath the car or the truck and into the cabin here. And through a grommet, uh, you can see it right there. Then uh, after that, we're going to be um, using uh, um, quick taps to uh, um, tap into the switch for the door open alarm. I believe in an earlier video I said that uh, I accidentally said that you want to put this uh, reed switch in series with the previous um, door switch but uh, you want you definitely don't want to put it in, in series you want to put it in parallel I meant to say parallel um, anyways uh, so I just ran the wire if you can see it through the back of the truck here or the back of the cabin and on to into the passenger side where I've opened up the fuse box and it will be tapping in to the connector of the previous switch so if you have a Ford Ranger it's the top two wires you want to tap into the bottom two are for your speaker for the passenger side so it's the top two wires we're going to be tapping into and that should put this switch in parallel with the existing system there all right so we'll go we'll do that and then we'll come back so uh, just for a quick reference, um, I brought in, this is the two wires that are connected to the reed switch. Um, and this is the connector that comes in from the passenger side door. And again, the only reason we're using the passenger side door and not the driver's side door because uh, on the driver's side, the handbrake kind of gets in the way of all these connectors and I don't want to uh, unbolt that. Or not the handbrake, but the um, parking brake. Um, anyways, so on this connector, if you have a Ford Ranger, the two wires you want to tap into are this red and gray one and the black one. Um, the bottom two are the wires for the speaker. So we're going to go ahead and use uh, these uh, quick splices or quick taps just to tap into that and then connect it to our switch. All right, so I used these quick taps um, to put that reed switch in parallel with the existing door open system and so now we once we plug this in we should have a fully functional tailgate open um, light indicator that works with that same light that the door open light turns on so all right so I got the panels back on and uh, everything plugged in and the wires are almost completely hidden can hardly tell that the duct tape mechanic was actually in here. Well, aside from the mess. All right, so now it's for the moment of truth. I've, I've gotten the, both the doors closed, driver's side and the passenger side, as well as the tailgate back there. That's also closed. And as expected, the light for the door open is off. So now we're going to go back there and turn on, open the tailgate and hopefully that light turns on. Come back here. So 
So it's on right now, but the door is also open. So we'll go ahead and close the door. And it's still on. So that means it works. And uh, now I'll never forget to close that door because the tailgate, because every time I forget, that light will be on. So uh, hopefully you like that. It's uh, I think it's a fairly unique idea. And uh, I, bring, I try to bring those type of unique ideas to my channel. So if you like that, make sure you stay tuned for more um, tinkering and DIY videos. And as you can tell, the passenger side door is also closed. Um, and just to be thorough, we'll go ahead and uh, close that tailgate and see if this light goes away. And uh, you can tell back there the tailgate is open. All right, let's go close it. Okay, it's closed. I'm gonna close this door as well. And that light's gone. The doors are closed. Over here as well. And tail gets close. Alright, hopefully you like this video.